Today is Monday, October 16. I'm Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today our text comes from Ephesians 1. In love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. It's Ephesians 1, verses 5 and 6. The next verb in this list is given, and it has all to do with grace. Grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In Greek, this particular word for given and the word for grace come from the same root word, which means that given here is really just a verbish way of saying grace. It is grace in action. And in the original Greek language, it comes with force, energy, and volume. We are graced by grace in such a way that we are left drenched in it, washed over by it, and transformed in the process. Paul uses variations of the word grace all over the place. And each time it's filled with a different nuance and meaning that washes over us as we slowly come to terms with the sheer largeness of God's gracious gift of grace. To say God is a gracious God in some way is to also say that God is a giving God, almost the picture of a father who enjoys spoiling his children with his goodness. It is more than we can ask or imagine. He gives us grace in Christ, the gift of a new life we didn't deserve. He graces us with spiritual gifts. He graces us with his presence and with an inheritance in Christ. So many graces to behold throughout this torrent of words in the first chapter of Ephesians. And what's all that like? Well, this past Saturday, our family went hiking in the Dundas Valley, in the rain. We thought it looked to be a light, misty drizzle outside, but it wasn't. Whether under the trees or under the sky, we were simply drenched in a downpour. There was no place to hide from the rain that found us from above and began flowing in little streams toward our toes. The water was everywhere. But so was the beauty. The fall colors were deeper and more vibrant in the wetness. The sound of a million raindrops on a million leaves was powerful but soothing. And actually with our coats on, we were not overpowered by this drenching. We were refreshed. Gifts abounding in the strangest of circumstances. So it is with God's grace. It is a powerful torrent of gifts that flows our way. It can be disorienting at first to receive such unconditional goodness at such a volume. We have a hard time receiving it. It may even make us uncomfortable, worried, or afraid. But when we stop and put our hands out, open our eyes and ears in the drenching of God's graciousness, the gifts slowly become apparent. As we receive them, we discover that we are not destroyed in this deluge. We are graced, filled, refreshed, and made new. So, open your eyes to see the beauty, your ears to hear the music. God's grace is all around you. Receive it, and let your life be refreshed. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen.